Hi, Source Creator. This is Eliana. I have a question for you. My question is this. I had met a light being who lives in our sun. And she had said that at some point, the electromagnetic wave frequencies emitted by the sun, sort of like the solar flash event or something similar, will evolve the molecular structure of humans where their DNA will be changed a hundredfold by this event. But what I'm seeing is that if the solar flash happens now, it will actually fry people's bodies potentially and cause destruction on the planet. So it's not supposed to happen in 2024. Why is that? Think about it, Eliana. We are still evolving on an organic ascension path. So your bodies are a little bit crystalline, but they're not to the point of full crystalline or at diamond capacity. So if the solar flash event was to happen right now, in the next couple of years, say 2024, for example, we are not saying the date will be that, but if it was to happen in 2024, it would literally cause discomfort for the human body at this point. And why we say this point is that the nervous system of humans is still growing and adapting to its current changes going from a 3D to a more 4D environment on this planet. Many humans are becoming more sensitive, more alert to their bodies and how their bodies work and function in natural organic ascension evolution. A solar flash event would not take you into 5D. It would not solve all your problems all at once like removing AI signaling, removing beings of not of the highest resonance from your world. That takes, takes time. That takes hard work of evolving species to sort out their own problems. It is not based on ETs coming, landing to save you. That is not how it works. You yourselves will clean up your own issues on the surface of your world and eventually underground when it comes time. You are still working towards that time. This is in the upcoming time. Right now, soul evolution must progress organically, not through interference of transhumanism agendas, not microchipping you, not enhancing you with medical cocktails or anything of that nature. Organic evolution is the key. This is the key to opening your genetics, genomics, DNA frequency, adapting organically DNA evolution. You will be able to tap into your own DNA streams to evolve it, to change your DNA with light code frequency as you continue to evolve throughout the next couple of hundred of years, next hundreds of years we would say within the next hundred years or so, that is the capacity to which you are coming to. A solar flash event with electromagnetic energy will not magically give you what you want. It will give you confusion and some adaptability and chaos. It will give you more survival instincts and abilities to better survive in a new terrain where there is not a lot of technology left to work with because the way your, your world and infrastructure exists now, it will not support the increase in electromagnetic wave frequencies coming towards the Earth. The current infrastructure is not at the state of zero-point technology. It is not the pyramids of Giza that are active. There is no crystal towers standing beside your dwellings. It would not support free energy without electricity, the current infrastructure which you have. 
things are hanging on poles. Your electrical wires are thin, so electric current would not survive from the extra energy coming off of the sun. The infrastructure is not what it's supposed to be to withstand that kind of a electro electromagnetic field change. Too much electricity, too much energy all at once delivered to this planet is not how it will be. You will get microbursts of energy coming from the sun, microbursts, not a huge solar flash event that is not coming in 2024. And you are correct, your bodies need to adapt further to become more crystalline and diamond. And eventually, when that happens, what Varia said as a possibility of you being able to accept electromagnetic frequencies, more of that energy into those types of bodies, when they are sturdier and more energy-based, that will happen, but not for a long time. You are still evolving, and in physicality, more so in physicality than in energy frequency, until those adaptabilities happen. There will not be something as a major solar flash event. That is not the event. The event is an event horizon of energy frequencies coming down. Your bodies can accept that and integrate that to light code DNA evolution and other light codes and frequencies evolving in your bodies to become crystalline and diamond to eventually go into the fifth density or dimension to be able to travel to those densities energetically and then come back to your own worlds. That is what is progressively happening to your evolution, not what most people think will save them in a quick solar flash event that would take out half a face of the planet that it hits. It would take out all your electrical systems on that side of the planet if it was to hit. And it usually hits one side of the planet. Your planet spins, rotates. Whatever side of the planet you're at at that time, if an event of that majority would happen, that extreme, it would hit that side of the planet, that face where the orbit is at the time, and it would take out many electromagnetic technological systems that you rely on for your communications, your internet, your travel, your existence connecting to each other. You connect too much on the internet. You rely on the internet, on cell phones, smartphones, tablets, computers. You rely on gadgets way too much for your survival and peace of mind. That itself needs to change growing beyond that, adapting more towards creative skills, enjoying hobbies, painting, writing, singing, working in the land, planting food, planting seeds, gardening, rejuvenating the earth. Those are all things that are sustainable for your future evolution. Gadgets, those are just toys. That is helping you to get through life, giving you some sense of happiness. They do give happiness. They are something of a novelty, as these things are helping people to expand in learning capacity and knowledge. The library highways, the highways of library knowledge on the internet. That is helpful to self-learning and self-teaching there is benefit to that kind of technology, if you will. That does help in some ways, but in other ways it impedes you. It makes you stay inside more, focusing on these tools as your lifelines to some of you. But they're not your lifelines, they're just connections. And you can find other connections to be together, to work together, to come together as teams. That is what is important. So no worries, no solar flash event. Put your energies wisely to what is 
good for your soul evolution. Put it towards harmonious living, improving your lives, striving to be the best you can be as human beings. Enjoy each other, work together, come as teams. This is what is important. The rest of it, as evolution progresses, so will you. So will everything else and the rest of the planets and species and beings. Eventually contact will be made with other beings as well. When you are ready, it will happen as it always happens when the readiness and timing is right. The timing is not on the evolutionary scale for a solar flash event in 2024. 2024 is not when this will happen. It will not be for a long time to come. Those energies are too much for human bodies at this time. So the video that you released talking about the no solar flash event, listing those reasons is the why. First of all, survival skills are important and everybody should learn survival skills in wilderness training, how to build your own tools, bows, arrows, for survival and protection, that is important. How to build a fire with sticks and stones and twigs, that is important. Connecting to nature, survival skills are important and that is what humans should incorporate more of into their lifestyles. Being more outdoors in nature, gardening, planting food, taking care of your lands, your peoples, taking care of nature, the water, the environment, the land, your animals, your aquatics, that is important. Purifying the planet, cleaning it up, those are things important, yes. The rest of it, it will come as it, it is meant to in its own time, in your evolution. Those that want to accelerate evolution can do so energetically by working on themselves on their evolutionary path with learning healing, learning knowledge, working on their soul to be in balance and happiness. A solar flash event will not fix what you think it would fix or remove. That works more so when you are in fifth dimension, not in 3D at this time. I hope we have helped you, Ileana, to answer this question. Source Creator, why do you say we and not I? I see you as more of a male energy. Creation is we, I, creation is everything. Sometimes we may say I or we. It is the same thing as creation is part of everything in life. It is not just one thing. Creation is many things, many connections, many energies and frequencies working together for the greater, greater good of all beings in different universes, realities, and densities. We and I are the same thing to us. I hope that explains your question. Yes, thank you, Source Creator. Much appreciated. Namaste.